There's a put lot of shit. On. Put your you clothes know, on. Put your clothes logistically, on. it just yeah, there's nah, a lot of things you need to think about. Naked shorties, shorties coochie be smelling when they just don't wear drawers under Bro, their clothes. You, you bare imagine? ass. Oh my what? god. All day in the heat. What? In the sun. What? Yeah. It's, it's Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just called a halibut. What <laughs> 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 the fuck is that? The fuck is that smell? This ain't freshwater fish. <laughs> Somebody just called a halibut. Yo. It's that boss of <laughs> nah. <laughs> You should be funny more often, man. Like, you know, every <laughs> once in a while. Right, we got to just start catching it on camera. Like. You know, that's the <laughs> shit that's going to actually happen. Nobody's going to believe us either. They're yeah, gonna be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, They're going to think we're doing a thing. You had to be there. It's like, Jesus. All right. Okay. Yep. <laughs> it's why we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, y'all. I told y'all I was going to try this week. <laughs> and I tried. It's only been 30 seconds. I tried. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, right. We hit it before. Weird. I don't know what y'all looked before. That's a fact. So I don't know. A well, fun fact. It might. It's not a fun fact. It's mm. it's funny for us. Uh, so people have been shocked to find out that how you act on the podcast is how you act in real life. But mm. everybody thought you were doing like a bit. Mm. What 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 part of it? Not the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not the whole thing is hilarious. I mean, not me. But uh, Dave Dave is only in the. It's only in the studio. I've seen you outside the studio, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing different is the desk. Like, I'm a great guy. <laughs> yeah, nah, you said that last nah, week. Nah, you're a good dude. <laughs> it's a difference. <laughs> nah. You're a good dude. If you know. Nah, there's a difference. What's the difference between a good guy, a great a guy, guy, and a good, good dude? dude? Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Because good dudes sound like, you know what I mean? That's like the show to the cry nah, on. good dude like. is nothing positive. There's nothing positive about being a nah, good dude. Nah, it's a good nah, dude. Nah, somebody views that. Positive it's, aspects. That's, it's definitely positive. Yeah, You're yeah. a good dude. Yeah. But that's not, what, like, that's not the intent. Like, great guy is like... Nah, I'm a great guy. I feel like Rocky Balboa was a great guy. You like, know what I mean? Stone Cold Steve Austin's a great guy. Muhammad Ali, great guy. David? Comma David? Good dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dude, yo. Who else? What other good dudes is out there? Yo. Mm. Let me know when you're finished. Nah. Steve Urkel? Good dude. Tears. Mm. Tears. Good dude. Nah. Um, yo. Well, nah. Get back to talking but about that's me. definitely something for y'all to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Take that home. Mm -hmm. Good dude. Get you a good, you're a good, you're a great guy or you're a good dude. Get you a good dude. <laughs> Every crew needs a good dude. <laughs> Yo, they clean up, man. Yeah. Them good dudes, yeah. they clean up, yeah. man. Yeah, that's that, what they do. How that shit spick and span. Yeah, I mean. Spotless, Mr. Clean type shit. You feel me? Cinderella before the ball. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Son. That's what's up, Dave. Man. Oh, Go man. far, man. Go no, far. But, um, these, these people that you speak of, like, I don't think they know me either. Alright, y'all, welcome to episode <laughs> right. 210 there we go. of the Venture Clan Podcast. I'm your host, Av Campbell, that motherfucking nigga, the bar guy, eight guy, young Avistotle. Yo, it's Buck the Road, aka Two Live, the freaky naughty venture, yeah, the nasty one. In the back, we got Dave. Don't forget the comment. Uh huh, and the comment stands for. Um, got it. Come on, guys, help him out. Nobody. They tired of you, man. They tired of you. <laughs> <laughs> if this was Dora the Explorer, right? Yeah, they tired of you out he there. He does it man. all the time. I mean, you know, wake up. They tired. They said wake that up. they tired of him babying you. Yeah, you know, they kind of want to see. Me. They want to mm -hmm. see you, in, you know, capitalizing. You know, really. Yeah, it's like make that own, your you know, own. They like own the thing. You yeah. know, you you, know? you guys and they, y'all going places. You keep talking to them niggas. You don't want peace to the village. Nah, mm -hmm. the cool ones. I don't know these people y'all talking about. Oh, they're not cool because they, they're, they're, they're not cool because they see you for what you are. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, a little they, constructive they, they talking, criticism they're and they're, they're not cool. nonsense. I don't, I don't see the construction in That's the, the crazy thing. And like, why y'all so similar is because they said the same thing about you. <laughs> 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 Verbatim. They was like, yo, man, I really want to fuck with Dave. But like, yo, what the fuck do he be talking about sometimes? Hey. Yeah. Some, love yeah love sometimes. Love happens, man. I mean, they just want to, yeah, I mean, see you be. The star you are, man. They want to see you be a great guy. 
in here my next time, man. <laughs> I'm tired of you being a good dude. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm tired of this, Grandpa. <laughs> That's too damn bad. Yo, nah. Oh my god. Right. Uh, anybody got a weekly highlight? Right. Yeah. Let's get into the weekly highlights. Let's see. Uh, this week's highlight. Uh, busy week, but um, we celebrated some birthdays. Uh, after work on Friday, uh, mm. my job. Uh, a few friends. A lot of people got like these um, late April, early May birthdays coming mm. up. So uh, shout out to Danny and shout out to Raven. They have birthdays coming up. Uh, we got Laverne and Darling's birthdays coming up. So shout out to you guys. But yeah, it was fun. We went to a bar, uh, McKinney's uh, downtown, 14th Street. Mm. Uh, fuck with it. It was dope. It was dope. Shout out to y'all. Um, my week was wild, actually. Like a <laughs> bunch of crazy stuff happened, you know, uh, life tested the whole family. So my weekly holiday would be my, my my wife, my partner. Like she she handled business. Okay. Showed out this week. Okay. Um we had a family emergency Sunday while we were performing last part. Uh my my grandmother had a stroke. Mm. Crazy. Wow. Sorry to hear life changing. That. Um so beginning of the week, crazy. Mm. <laughs> then uh, Thursday, my son, he wake up and he like Having trouble breathing. <laughs> Call oh. ambulance. That's wild. Scary. Uh, yeah. Wife, wife jumping into action. She's full nurse mode, handling business. Um, and then we get introduced to this new virus called croup. <laughs> so the kids watch out. <laughs> uh, it, it just an inflamed throat, whatever. So that was nice. It's called what? It's yeah. called croup. C R O U P. Ambulance dude, I, I run downstairs, <laughs> bring him to the ambulance, and do him coughing. He's like, "Oh, yeah, that's group. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm I feel like, like I've this? never like, heard of that it, before. And that's exactly how I responded. Like, mm-hmm. hey, you saying this? Like, this is a familiar thing. Like, oh, a common cold. No, what is that? Explain what's going on right now. Yeah. Oh no, I got you. Just come inside. We got it. Pull out the EpiPen. It wasn't an EpiPen. It was Epi something, but it was like in the nebulizer, so mm. he was able to breathe it in. Open his throat back up, and then they gave us the article on it, and essentially it just closed your windpipe just inflames, closes up, mm. and it's going. To, it's just only kids can get it because mm. like their windpipe is small enough to be affected mm. by um, it being inflamed. So that was a crazy thing. Um, but man, as soon as everything happened that morning, he was up next day, good to go. And oh, that's good. To, to go through all of that and like watch her perform in those moments and just come through. Phew, Emotion was so you're a star, like, what? Man. You're a star. Save <laughs> it that matters. Game. It matters who you got on your team, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that that's my weekly honor. That's what's up. What about you, my guy? I just want you. It matters who you got on the team. <laughs> 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 it matters who you got on the team, y'all. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Apply that to work, yeah. David. <laughs> 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 Apply that mindset to work. Oh, we just to have fun. Clutch, saving you know, lives. We having fun. Yeah, that's you know what it's I'm fun. Doing. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm Performing fun. at a high level. <laughs> I'm a great guy. Like. You're a good dude, yo. <laughs> You're a good dude, man. Now, life is great, yeah. Bro. Life is great. Good to hear, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was my weekly highlight? Um, right? Do I have a weekly highlight? I had one too. Fuck, what was it? It was some stupid shit too. Um. Yeah, this week kind of dragged, but kind of flew by at the same time. Yeah, hey, it was like a weird ass week. Yeah. Um, I would say my weekly highlight was, um, right, damn, I cannot remember what the fuck that shit was. Um, if I had to pick a weekly highlight at this point, because I can't remember shit for some reason, um, I would say just getting like a lot of shit done that was like piled up not because i was slacking just because it was like mad shit yeah but just getting back ahead of like all the fucking like content niggas got to edit and all like the posting yeah. and things like that um so that was my weekly highlight because that shit was definitely giving me a headache like two weeks ago just nah, the get thought that. of all of that shit having to exist and be put somewhere so that was it right not too crazy productivity you feel me oh ho Pattern interruption. Yeah, uh, you need to subscribe to the Vitra Clan YouTube channel right now. Um, it's a study being done right now. Um, and if you're not subscribed, you're a bitch ass guy. I wanted to say the N word, but this is the commercial break. So, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring the notification bell or be a bitch ass guy.
All right, we're back to the episode. Where we at? Right. What's going on in this world? Where we um, want to start? So I seen this riddle, and I wanted to present it to y'all. Oh, good riddle. Okay. All right. Um, nobody use your phones. Copy. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to give y'all, yeah, like 30 seconds or whatever. But I'm going to talk during the time, so because you know it's audio experience. Right. All right. What letter could you add to the word R to change it from a one-syllable word to a three-syllable word? Go. What that, letter? That's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, what letter you can add to the word? To, to the, the word R, like A-R-E? To make it a three-syllable word? Yeah, because it's a one-syllable word. What letter could you add to the word R to change it from a one-syllable word to a three-syllable word? I'm not going to front. When I seen this shit, I was fried. Like, mm. it was on, like, a game show. And I was like, I guess you had to input your answer. And if you got the shit wrong, it'd be like, oh, we only got this many players remaining because niggas got it wrong or whatever. I was definitely in the niggas that got it wrong and was eliminated. Um, hmm. And that's, that's your 30. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, damn me. Yeah. I would have had to guess because I, I don't know for real. I would have okay. had to guess. I don't know. Uh, the letter was A. You add it to the end. It becomes area. Huh. Wow. Right? Simple right. solution. Uh-huh. Dumb shit. Yeah. Now, one, one more. This one's a little easier. I figured this one out. That was first. a good one, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was good. Yeah, yeah. No, that was a good definitely. one. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely yeah. started going through all the letters. And Nigga, I did not what? start with A. I was like, tear, <laughs> rare, no, damn, okay. <laughs> damn, I got to go through that. And then I started was like, where does it, shifting where, is it front, the, back, yeah, side, Shifting middle. the letters around. All right, what if I put it here? Oh, does that even make a word? Okay, cool. It was, uh, what was the other one? Um, if you had to write out numbers like using letters mm-hmm. from one to one million, what is the highest number you could have without using the letter N? <laughs> wow! Right. Mm. One to one million. Mm-hmm. What's the highest number you could write out without using the letter N? Wow, without using the letter N. Mm-hmm. 888,888. 88, 000, 888. Is it N in 100? Yeah. And is it N in 1,000? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Right? 88. That was 88. <laughs> I'm like, because that's the only one without an N. Yeah. Wow. Shout out to the riddles, right? Yep. Yeah. And that's everything I have for today. I'll see y'all next week. <laughs> 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 Crazy Shit down and do your job. Nah. Uh, those are good riddles. What, what show was that? Yeah. What are you yeah, watching? Honestly, it was some shit. <laughs> shit just showed up on my TikTok, and I was like, oh, went to the page. I just started watching Mad at Them Shits. They ain't have a lot up there at the time, though. So nah, I, I really had to think just now. Now, nah, the 88 one, like, they literally <laughs> be counting down, like, oh, yeah, I got like 30 seconds. I got the 88 one, mm-hmm. like, easily. That oh our that shit. <laughs> Once you took out the hundred part, I'm like, oh yeah, all right. Well, now we mad low. Cuts everything down. <laughs> yeah, that our shit. I was like, yeah. Yeah, if that R, was, R, if that was to save somebody's life. <laughs> oh, oh, it was over. Watch you I'm sorry, yeah. Like, damn. I'm sorry. I'd have made up a word. <laughs> right. That's what I said. Yeah. I had to guess. Like at that point, like, oh, I don't know <laughs> where. Right. You know. <sighs> Crazy <laughs> shit. It's a wild um, week, y'all. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, nah, it's a wild week. Do oh, yeah, you want to start with crazy shit since we're yeah, still let's on get, crazy I shit? I mean, we should jump Yo, right who, into it, right? Who, who set themselves on fire this week? What happened? Yeah. no, that I, was, I uh, just saw a video of somebody on fire. I did not think that's where he was about to go. Yeah, I didn't. I, didn't, I, didn't, I was yeah, like, yeah, we're going to get into like, music and shit. But nah, nah, I mean, we already know that's going to set themselves on fire. I don't know. It's a Florida man. It's a guy from Florida. He set himself on fire while outside of the Donald Trump's trial at New York City. Um, And has, oh, he's passed away too. Of course he did. Did you see him? Yeah. And he did it like while the news was live. I think CNN was like reporting outside and then like, oh, he set himself on fire so it's like oh my god like somebody just set themselves on fire like right outside for yeah, what a, I don't, that's and, the first thing yeah that i don't know i want to know why and i want to know you know like when you get hit with something or like something mad hot like you know how you start flailing and do all the crazy shit mm-hmm. these motherfuckers that be set not to make it because i'm not joking about it, but like when they set themselves on fire they just be standing still and, and burning like, yeah he said he they say he uh threw out some um anti-government conspiracy pamphlets before engulfing himself in flames. 
added a uh, liquid uh, accelerant and all that. Yeah, that fire was uh, like <clears throat> orange. It was crazy. Yeah. So yeah. he handed out anti-government pamphlets. Yeah, anti-government uh, conspiracy uh, theory type pamphlets. And then burned it. And then set himself on fire. But he could have be he could have been inspired by that uh, that military guy who set himself off on fire mm. in protest of like the war that Israel's doing with Palestine. I guess this guy must have been inspired by that and was just like, Anti- Oh, I don't think so, I think shit's going on with Donald Trump and I don't know because it's his yeah, trial. No, so right like now. the pamphlets was anti government conspiracy, meaning like, oh, he's against ant- government conspiracies? Or he's against Government and the shit that's taking place is all yeah, part of a yeah, larger that's conspiracy. What I think, yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh, anti-government, as in like, I'm not approving of the government conspiracy theories. Where it's like, oh, the government are they're lying to us. They're oh, putting okay, this okay, chemical okay. in our food, shit like that. So, do you think he was? He probably didn't have shit going on with Trump. He just wanted to be like on. Yeah, I think this might have yeah. been like the yeah, perfect stage. To oh, like, this is the perfect stage. Yeah, yeah to do moment. that because it doesn't say anything about him like. Directly okay. protesting Trump or oh Trump shouldn't be allowed to like run or be tried. Nah. You know the stupidest shit about this whole thing is that the other people who believe in government conspiracies mm-hmm. are gonna think this is all part of a conspiracy. Oh, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> like, Especially since you want to do it when Trump's going to court and trial and they just selected the jury, so it's just like ah, like what what's happening here? You know, is this supposed to be a distraction? This would be the, one of the ultimate distractions from the the case. I don't know, man. I don't know about dying for the cause. I kind of want to see how the cause turns out. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want to get the Mind results. You, that's what you know I was saying? telling people. Like, oh, when you do acts like this, like, right, your end result has to be death because if you survive, right, your life is not going to be a good life. Like, you you engulfed yourself in flame. What could you poss What could you possibly have to live for after that? Like, you could be Darth Vader. Oof. That's exactly what you're going to be. All the <laughs> shit, all those components on you. You feel me? Your skin's mm, done. Just be like, what if, what if nobody cared? Like, what then if, that. what if you do all that and they didn't even, like, the camera just didn't even notice? Like, oh, some smoke coming from over there. What's yeah. going on? He was in court uh, in New York City. Yeah, nobody Trump? cared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, realistically, nobody really cared. But I'm just saying, like, you mm-hmm. died, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You did all them years of life for a statement, plans, whatever. I feel like there was better ways you could have. Like, mm-hmm. Definitely better ways you could have. You know, and got the your moment that up. you pick, you know, Trump, yeah, Trump case. Come on, you know, shout out to niggas dying for their convictions, man. I ain't got it. <laughs> and then you set yourself yeah, on no. fire at that. So it's not like you went up it there and shot yourself and in that's the head. And that's the part that I'm saying. No, like, the way they be burning, it's like they burning with commitment, too, because they just be standing still. Like, I don't know. If fire was on me, hey, hey, hey. Like you gotta move a little bit. It's that's no why you're not movement. a great guy, man. <laughs> Crying. Crying. Oh no, that's Cap- the bar. If Captain that's the bar, go down with there. the ship. You pushing yeah. women out the way, like fuck the boat. Crying in. Yeah. And I don't know what you gotta do a better protest than that. I feel like that, right? I don't even get to see the end result of my stand. You feel me? Mm-hmm. If niggas is gonna remember what I did or yeah, not. Like, oh, and you kinda doing that? it while other shit's going on. <laughs> so now we kinda That's don't like, really know what the messaging was. Right. Is um, it related? Is it not? We we're not really sure. And then you're throwing out the, the pamphlets pamphlet. before you <laughs> die. Like, no, they didn't put the pamphlet up on the screen like, hey, this is what he nah. was talking about. Like nah, you didn't, I didn't get see a anything moment. about that. They didn't get a moment. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So America. That's America. Right. Yo, right. That's America <laughs> for you, man. This is where we at now. Like I mean, I feel like we've been here. But yeah, this is what's Damn, happening. Damn, what? Yeah. Um wow, speaking shit. of protests, there wasn't there was one more um with the airport where people had to like walk across the field to try to catch their planes because they uh lined what? up for Israel. What? They yeah. had to walk across the field. Like what? Like, like across you know the... how you make your way to your flight, mm. so the ship like they completely blocked the roadway, so you couldn't get to the airport, and people start getting out their cars, missing their flights. Like it was, it was a bad day. See, now that's a good protest. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got your point We're across. You a, yeah. There you go. Like, and it was, I don't think that they had too many bad things happen. You know how many people fit on an airplane? Yeah. Now we got twenty airplanes. And niggas miss twenty airplanes. <laughs> oh, we got a, a couple yep. hundred niggas. That's a lot of money on the phone. <laughs> yep. Telling somebody, oh, you know how these fucking protesters, da 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 da. It's a lot of protests going on. I think Columbia University um, just uh, had an incident where students were protesting, you know, Israel, Palestine. Mm-hmm. 
um, and they called the cops on them. And now they're kicking those people out of like the dorms. Like they came back Oof. when they got released Oof. out of jail. They mm. came back and was like, oh, all their shit is in the hallway. Yeah, I think I seen right, a so thing that was like here. some of the teachers was like arresting protests, like trying to citizens arrest protests. <laughs> there was mad shit going on, bro. They had celebrities <laughs> pop out, like nah, Columbia nah. alumni was on yeah. some like, yo, we paying all this money, we can't fucking protest here. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. They said yeah. nope. <laughs> Totalitarian <laughs> shit. Like, so this is our house. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> Do that shit outside. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> Nah, come on, come on, man. Nah, 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 yeah, nah, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right here. Not right I here. I can't do here. this shit from one twelve to one forty. Yeah, don't, not, yeah. Matter of fact, oh, everything don't even the light worry touches. about it. You feel yeah, me? When you get back, you won't. You feel me? All your shit gonna be packed up All for right, you. You don't live here no more. Yeah. So, you can't stay here. A lot of protests going on in this city. I mean, they still wilding up over there. So you know, they want you That's to definitely you know, be a reason to protest. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe not. Never mind. Nah, I mean, you know. Depends on what side of the fence you're on. But clearly... Let's go get results. You know, <laughs> one side is doing a lot more dirt than the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody winning. And it ain't the protesters. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, some, some grimy motherfuckers out here. Yeah, nah, <laughs> facts. Facts. In lighter news, though, um, there's a Miami cruise company that is going to uh, launch their first nude cruise. Yeah, I heard about in that. In 2025, yeah. yeah. I'm assuming there's got to be some of type of like rules. On the boat. Yeah, it's yeah, like well, a nude the, cruise. The, the rule is that you, you, you have to board the boat dressed. Like, yeah, you can't show up <laughs> nude. You can't show up naked. Don't show yeah. up here naked. Once okay. we get out to sea, then you, it's like fair Niggas game. could be around naked and shit. Yeah. Chilling and vibing. Yeah, I feel like that wild. has to be like an adult only kind of thing. I don't think you're bringing your family yeah, you on that. You can't. This, you can't. this is like an adult. You, you, you might go with a couple or something. Um, but yeah, you don't, don't want to bring your kid. Going, can't bring your kids. Don't, don't, you, I don't, don't bring think your couple to either. The boat, like. Yeah, you, could you imagine buying the wrong ticket? So it's like, <laughs> yo, you get your whole family down there, you're running for the boat, and then it's just like, yo, hey, whoa, this ain't the, this ain't the boat for you, bro. Nah, no, you got the, the whole family. Hey, is that a baby? Yeah, it's just <laughs> like, okay. they can slip by because they think he like a like a little person or something. Oh damn. It's like, nah, he got like the Webster thing. Like, nah. Yeah. Nah, but don't they got like new colonies and stuff? So, like, people used to living around each other in nude. So, in that yeah, they case, got that. they got like, yeah, but we may feel weird. Think like, hey, you never can't scrutinize. Like a cruise with the entire yeah. cruise. But they be like, you can't scrutinize against me. Like, we do this all the time. This is nothing. <laughs> Yeah, where you live at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a this is like the first ever nude like, cruise. Like imagine or... nigga come to your house and don't use a coaster. I don't give a fuck if y'all don't use coasters you at your house. We use coasters over here, champ. Yeah, yeah. We definitely wear clothes. So it's like, oh yeah, that yeah, we're that's that's lit and kind of not lit at the same time because you good. don't have nah, any control go, over nah, like who's going to be your roommate or I mean not your roommate, your next your next door neighbor or something. Anybody can show up nude. I mean, you know, you got control over that whether niggas got clothes on or not. Yeah, but. I I feel like with clothes on, it's just like, oh, I can at least expect you to have clothes on. Like, yeah, I, feel I don't like want to walk out the room, man. Big back like, dinosaurs walking out their room. Now you drop something. <laughs> <laughs> you drop something, you're going to pick it up, dick in your face. Ah! What? Nah, your niggas got, niggas got me on boat, boat with Cuba Gooding. <laughs> it's the wrong boat. <laughs> what do I swipe my credit card? Like, nah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the wild shit, because I'm just thinking about like, Normal human activity. Like, yeah. I need this whole boat sanitized every 30 minutes. See, now minutes. you got to think, like, oh, is the servers naked? Like, if I'm going to get shrimp, can this is like, niggas is naked and behind me? You feel me? Like, like you niggas gotta, don't, you gotta really niggas think... got pubic hairs everywhere. Mind nah. you, what? You, you got to really think about what's in the nigga seat. nigga let off a fart. Like, now it's... <laughs> oh, it's no <laughs> barriers. It's <laughs> like straight... Just straight now it's yeah. fecal matter on ass that's about to be on seat, and you about to pull up for the dinner Yo. rush and eat. Oh, and now yeah, you sitting on them white beach chairs they be having now, because everything Everything new, white, um, you feel white me? napkins. Yeah. How you putting a white napkin Perspective in your lap? Perspective on like dookie, that. Your seat being warm. You feel me? They gonna know like crusties. oh, somebody balls was on this chair. Like. <laughs> Straight dookie and ass Yo, and pew, what? bro. Like I'm good, bro. Man, you naked all day. So like Yo, so, you know, you think on. of that, but in like in theory, it's like oh no, nah, that's fire. Like a new cruise, like oh that's yeah, fire. But like not. it's mad like little practical shit, yeah, little gotta, logistical shit. You're not aware. Like you're not being you gotta judge. You gotta judge every person coming on the boat. Like hey, nah. You, you gotta be qualified to be on. Now you get the eighty-year-old adventurous couple. You feel me? They've been retired for oh, some time. You know they time. definitely gonna be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, definitely yeah. gonna be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saggy titty, nah. saggy everything. Everything's like the old me? couples at all the naked functions. Now nah, you gotta yeah. like, you gotta like organize everybody. It's a crew, so it's nah, big enough to like. Oh, this is the elders. This is the old. You know what I mean? This this section. 
that section. Now, if you want to cross mingle, that's on you. Now you know. Now, I, ain't, I don't think it's going to be sectioned off like that. That's yeah. good. That could be discrimination. You feel me? You know? It's it ageism. Be. Yeah, it's hey. ageism, which is hey, look. a big thing, right? Nah, you got to have them old titties out there with the young titties, man. You know, because you'd be offended if they be like, oh, the blacks got to stay on this side <laughs> of the boat, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, all of a sudden, something don't seem right. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Why the white all... side got the better shrimp? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. They're giving y'all the leftovers from Red Lobster. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is true. You feel oh, me? Man, so that's like, yeah. it's a lot. Boat. It's a lot. It's what, like it's a lot name? to what's think and consider. No, nah, I don't have that oh, information. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the SS bear ass. <laughs> <laughs> Where they going? What's the route? <laughs> Yo, now nah, they leave Miami, so you know. Yeah, I mean, oh, oh, that's where they. Going, that's where they. Down you down I mean, you, you get on the boat, you board mm-hmm. the boat on in Miami, and then nude uh, cruise. So don't even worry about that. You know what I mean, don't worry about it. Don't <laughs> worry about that. You don't man. need no clothes. Ten days, yeah. bare ass. Ten days, bare. Yo. Yo, this could get dark real fast. Like this could. Nah, because of the implications. Because of the implications. Right. Sure. Remember when they got stuck in the city? What and boat what? was that? Uh, during COVID, when the, like, oh, the, when the they didn't let the boat, because <laughs> yeah. yeah. the niggas had COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to stay out there nineteen <laughs> days. Shut that shit down for herpes. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Keep that shit on the boat. <laughs> hey, yo, see, then that's another thing you gotta be worried herpes about, right? You always mix. gotta be worried about that, but I feel like you gotta be even more so worried about that, right? Fact. Yeah, oh yeah, pink eye. Pink eye, would be running these, like, these infections, like, these diseases. On, everybody don't want to do their job. I, I actually seen the thing where somebody got gonorrhea I also in that. their eye. Yeah. What? From, from somebody ejaculating in their wait, eye. Wait, wait, what gonorrhea doing your eye? Because he. What does it do to your eye? Yeah, like what? Oh, it looks oh, horrible. Like, uh, it looked like. I don't even know how to describe this shit. So, like, your top and bottom eyelid is kind of like swollen, but it's like swollen, like. Outwards, so you could yeah. fake see like Ooh. in it a little yeah. bit. Your whole eye is like red. Your fucking pupils like discolored. Right. The I white part I, of your eyes yeah. discolored. Yeah. Your eyelashes look Oof. like they change color, like or yeah, it's crusty. Looks, yeah. Nah, looks nasty. Yeah, don't need those problems. Don't need those problems. Yeah, so. yeah, that's bad. That's bad work. Yeah, you can't, nasty work. You, you don't want to be clean. on that. You can't be living like that, yeah. man. You feel me? So be careful so about the all you guys. can eat buffet. Be careful about everything. You feel me? Hopefully they got the guard up. Right, hopefully yeah. they got God up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, sound like that. Pray for this. And if you think niggas wasn't washing their hands or being, you know, <sighs> sanitary with their hands before, like, oh, there's no clothes here. I'm straight you know scratching balls, scratching yeah. ass. You're not scratching your going sweat straight pant. in there. You feel me? You, you feel me? You, you hands on turkey. Skin cells everywhere. It's skin <laughs> cells everywhere. <laughs> hands on turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You feel me? You said, wow. Everybody you got to think about shit like that. Because like, the only people nah. going to be thinking about it is they're going to hear nude crews and all they're going to be thinking about is sex. Yeah, but no, it's like, it's like, like, it's all the shit, shit that happens in between that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The heads, that's going to be... Yeah, yeah. That's why they be having like the new resorts. I'll be like, I don't know, dog. Nah. Nah, Every, it yeah, it's like uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, yo, That's the one niggas naked near the food. Like, y'all want to be naked in the pool? All right, cool. cool but like after right? like thirty minutes, it's gonna be like, nah. Yeah, like they gotta somebody be somebody farted in yeah. here. Where's somebody somebody peed in here. Does, it's and cool but, for you to wear like yeah. shorts over here in this side or something. Like, nah, that's what they do with the results. They got like the resort. Excuse yeah. me. They got like a side where it's like, yo, it's a oh, regular okay. resort. Yeah. But now if you step on this side. Oh, yeah, oh. you got to be naked to come on this side. I could fuck with that. I like that system because it's like, all right, cool. I know exactly where the line is. You feel me? When I'm ready to go over there, I know mm-hmm. exactly what to expect. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I shouldn't expect anything over here. I feel like with the cruise, it's just too unpredictable. It's like, oh, everybody is, you feel me? All the, the floors yeah, and all the shit is new. Mm-hmm. Is the captain driving naked? Like, what's going on? I feel like the staff have to be, like, clothed. Like, nah, it's the staff. Gonna you gotta have, well, how you going to know their uniform? Where you going to keep your straws at? Like, if you niggas need straws Where for their drinks. Apron? Wearing an apron Tears Tears Can't right. even really get drunk out there You talking to somebody You getting a bone <laughs> <laughs> You talking The whole time you talking nigga. Yeah so anyway Yeah like <laughs> <laughs> Yo Nah then, that's wild right then, Nah you can't You can't be drinking out there neither Cause people get real loose When they drunk So now I'm like yeah. You you not You not you not handling them farts, right? You're not handling yeah. a lot of things with your nah, with your body, definitely. right? At niggas the, come get on, you drunk throw up and fall all over the place. Now you're trying to help a nigga up. Uh, you didn't grab dick. Like. Uh, 
He like, cut no, your no, hand no. Off. <laughs> yeah, you gotta cut your hand off. I cut your hand off. <laughs> Damn sure can't eat with his hand no more. <laughs> nah, you can't do that. <laughs> this hand is solely yeah. for wiping my ass nah, now. I don't fact. do nothing that's but wipe my ass. With you know they hand. got the, like the, you know the, like the dance floor and shit. So yeah, I was like, on. oh yeah, you dancing, <laughs> new dancing, wacky wavy. <laughs> Oh my god yeah, man. Don't do that yeah. There's a put lot of shit on, you know. on, Logistically on. it just yeah, There's nah. a lot of things You need to Have think about shorties, shorties coochie be smelling When they just don't wear Drawers under Bro, their clothes You bare ass Oh my what? god All day in the heat What In the sun What Yeah It's, it's Miami <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just called a halibut <laughs> What the fuck is that the fuck is that smell? This ain't freshwater fish. Somebody just caught a halibut. Yo. It's that bossa. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got you never crisp up. <laughs> bitch, Earth Gang. Like. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, this niggas got the bossa. Throw that shit wild. back. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. That's wild. So, yeah, um, interesting shit. Yeah, no. That's I feel wild. like it's too many cons to the pros for me. Like, yeah, I think yeah, I'm yeah, way more cons than. Pros. Yeah, we're good, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're I'm super good. Yeah. Ah <laughs> oh, man, right? Super random. Hilarious. Uh. All right, so y'all want to get into this shit now? Yeah, that's. Yeah, all right, so yo, it's it's week forty seven of everybody beefing with each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. Is everybody beefing with each other? Everybody's beefing with everybody you know right now. Uh, I guess we could start with Drake dropped another mm -hmm. diss track. Called uh, Taylor Made Freestyle. You heard it? Yep, sure did. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is the, this is the one where he got uh, AI Snoop, AI Tupac. On yeah, there. yeah. Uh, how'd yeah. y'all feel about that one? Um, I felt like this one was more of a troll. Yeah, this than, was definitely like I mean, yeah, it's a diss. It's a diss mm -hmm. record. It's a diss song. But mm -hmm. I feel like this one was more like trolly in nature mm -hmm. in comparison of like, oh, I'm a I'm I'm attacking you. I'm a lyrically coming at you. I'm mm -hmm. trying to dismantle you know your entire. Well being, your existence, all of that shit. Nah, I feel mm -hmm. like this one was more so just like, Yep, I I'm I'm gonna just keep talking shit until you say something I'm like, mm -hmm. Oh, here's some funny shit, right? Oh, you supposed to be the West Coast nigga, right? I got Snoop and Pac mm -hmm. doing a and it sounds like it sounds like Drake with a Snoop Dogg and Tupac filter over. Oh, definitely, like, definitely did. Nah, you cadence, can actually hear in the Snoop Dogg it. one, like you can hear Drake talking. You can hear in the Tupac yeah, one because it's like do it. Tupac don't rap like that, like at all. You're doing at all. You're trying to do a yo, do a song like Drake if Drake was trying to sound like Tupac. That's yes. what it sounds like. Yes, instead of. But oh, I mean, like the, the AI Drake. was literally slipping. To the point where you could hear like the voice filter kind of disappear. Mm -hmm. on Snoop I'm not surprised. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit, like, you can actually hear that this is Drake now. Like this is not, it's not working out. Yeah. So I don't think he was like I mean, trying I mean, to fool anybody yeah. with that mm -hmm. shit, but it was just like, oh, I since like, um, I feel like a big problem of what's happening now is like, oh, everything might be AI. Like, mm -hmm. oh, this could be an AI. This shit could be fake. We don't know who's putting out what. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he kind of just jumped on that. Mm. Aspect of the, yeah, the he, culture he, he right he now, and was that. just like, oh yeah, nah, I got the AI Snoop, I got AI Pop. Mm, they about to come at I, you, and I, then I'm gonna just do some shit. Definitely appreciate him like showing the, where that shit has come to, like the, oh, the like fact oh, that how they, yeah, the, far the technology has gone. Yeah, cause damn, like man. that was. I don't know, man. I ain't like that shit, man. Nah, uh, it wasn't not to not to say that I liked it, but just to say like, oh shit, you could really do this with somebody's voice now. Like this is getting up there. No, nah, like, but it was because it was crazy high, low quality before, but this shit was like. And that that's why I didn't like it because of like. One nigga, if I died like twenty some years ago, use my fucking voice to disrespect. <laughs> like that, you feel? And the only the people in charge of my state not here. Like, oh yeah, fam. Like who signed off on this? But mm -hmm. to your point, where like point. the quality of the. Ability that it gives you mm -hmm. That's the shit I don't like Because If that's a thing in music Where it's like Oh they was trying to come out With AI rappers And do all of that shit Where it's like Oh niggas can They run AI scams On the phone all the time now That's when you mm -hmm. say hello They don't respond They waiting to see if you talk So they can like Try to capture your voice And mm -hmm. do shit mm -hmm. So it's like Oh you got the biggest artist In the world Kind of like Co-signing the use of AI technology And people being like Nah this was For whatever purpose That oh, this was okay to do then I feel like, oh, this is just going to have, you know, mm -hmm. other people behind the scenes more ready to do more AI shit. And I don't want to hear niggas complaining about it later because it's going to be to the detriment of like artists and shit. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Definitely. Um, hey, we're, like it's, we're already having a problem with identifying what's real and what's not. Like mm -hmm. just fake media, fake news has mm -hmm. already been a thing for like the last two to three years, mm -hmm. five years even. So it's like, oh. 
AI and then music, and now you can sound like anybody, or anybody can sound like anybody mm-hmm. they want to. And then I didn't even think about that. Uh, like I guess like the impact of someone like a Drake doing that. Mm-hmm. So that was a good point you brought up, where it's like, oh, you're at this mega star level of uh, you feel me influence, I guess you can say, and you're letting people know like, mm-hmm. oh, AI is cool. Like I'm using it. Like it's fair game. Like you know, mm-hmm. I can I can get a T Pain Auto Tune Gold Rush kind of vibe where it's like oh everybody's right. about to start running to this technology and using it because now what's gonna happen when niggas everybody knows how to impersonate a drake flow where it's like mm-hmm. oh yeah i'm about to get drake on my song i'm about to get drake and i'm about on my to song. put that, it out and by the was, time niggas be like yo take this shit down oh niggas already didn't came already out stream my shit up Facts. that was my Facts. next thing that because um i'm very curious to see how snoop dogg handle this he by posted way, a video like the way he spoke in that video is like oh I'm about to see how I can handle this legally mm. because I didn't even know. Snoop I did know I didn't give you the yeah he he and then he was like oh I'm a, I'm you know people calling me going crazy and he like flashed the Death Row logo on his jacket like oh yeah well, oh they did what with what I'm about to go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, oh. So he's not worried about that. At nah, all. but he nah. definitely. It, it seems like there could be some legal ramifications mm. that come with this because it's like. You, you you mess with my likeness to some degree. I mean, right. no, you didn't use me personally, or mm-hmm. I just want to know how they play with that in the legal system with regard yeah. to the AI filter. Because it's like there were points in the song where you could clearly hear that it's not Snoop. So mm-hmm. is he going to be able to say, "Yo, everybody knows it's not you"? Right. And so like, it's just the same as somebody coming out and doing and, the fake and that's uh, the shit. Snoop Dogg voice because it's like, you know, normally if somebody was like gonna mock you was like oh they would be like oh like i'm dave da, 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 right <laughs> yeah but now it's like oh if i can actually literally use your voice to say something to somebody else oh yeah how we how do we justify that because mm-hmm. it's yeah. like because what is it yeah that i didn't give you permission to do that because now not to say drake but like other people oh you promoting this like oh yeah nah yo we got snoop on the song or we got snoop to cut a skit or we got this in the third it's like mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm Who's on Who's on top of this? Nah, also, I really want to know. You feel me? Especially like, with bringing people back from the dead, you know. And you know, don't put me in no shit, bro. Like if if I'm over here sleep, don't. Yeah, why I'm niggas up waiting? And I'm, I'm that, you know, nigg- my, you know speaking, niggas dumb. Like if Tupac yeah. wasn't on it, yeah. nigga, it'd have been a few niggas like, oh, Snoop said something. Or mm-hmm. Snoop, or, or mm-hmm. Snoop on Drake's side, mm-hmm. and that was what went in my head. I'm like, oh, what if Kendrick do some crazy shit where he do a song, and now he'd be like, oh, you, you got AI Snoop, I got real Snoop, nigga, and he talking to you. <laughs> you That'd know? be wild. But I'm even like, with oh. the Kendrick response, remember when his response got leaked, and it was actually some producer guy yeah, doing it was, AI, oh, how you do it. and it went out? viral. Like, oh yeah, so the people the believed mechanics it. behind it actually. Yeah, like, yeah guy was like, it. yo, here's how you if you want to, here's how you do that. Yeah. Oh, I made the beat. I did this. Oh, I wrote the lyrics, and then he I wrote the lyric. Mm-hmm. It's not hard to mimic. Like when people rap a certain way, it's not hard to like not mimic how they rap. Like, nah, because I was just like, yo, that was the, the the details of it. It's like, oh, you you really went online, figured out. Oh, mm-hmm. this is what I would say back to him. The peed on him part. I'm like, oh, t- niggas got free time, bro. Nah, yo, definitely mad free time. Definitely, you know? definitely. Um, so that could be a big problem. Are they in the getting future paid for? That's my next. Music. That's my question. <laughs> Is anybody getting a check from these scenarios? Like, is the dude who did that song, is he getting a check from YouTube views? Is Drake going to get a check from YouTube views on this tailor-made freestyle situation? Like, is somebody actually getting money for this and shit? And that's, that's the shit niggas got to figure out with the AI shit. Because I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm about to go get a Nate Dogg coat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all that right now. You feel me? Venture Clan featuring Nate Dogg mm-hmm. and Heavy D. That Yo, shit, that shit been in the works yeah. for 10 years, and it's about to yeah. happen right now. I was literally just thinking that, like, oh, yeah, people can just start bringing artists back from the dead. And you feel like, me? Oh, I got this unreleased so-and-so verse. Michael Jackson feature? Yeah. That what? Yeah. Wild. I wish Catherine Jackson would send me a season mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. I got the last Pop Smoke freestyle you tell them to as stop singing. A verse. And came to my studio. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> From this very moment, you should believe in God. You feel me? Let alone, like, oh, if you can do that with the voice and make the music, then you can do that with the voice and do anything. Have these niggas say whatever. Oh, yeah. Right. Nah, I definitely. Oh, I got a skit on my shit with this nigga out. telling me he's sorry and he's, you know, you feel scared me? and all kind of shit. And then, uh, you know, you could have AI niggas. Um, with the, like, having a code word for your family. Because yeah. niggas mm. is doing the shit with You could fuck call. around and have yeah. niggas, oh, I can mimic your voice and make you confess to a crime. Like, oh, that yeah. I'm trying to yeah. frame you for. Like, oh, nah, see, we got them on tape. Now you really mad up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in terms of the actual diss, uh, 
like the lyrical content. Yeah, I didn't really care for the diss. Like I thought the I thought the Tupac and Snoop shit was like trash. I, th- I especially thought the Tupac shit was trash because it was just like nigga, come on now. Yeah. Um, I felt like it was unnecessary. I feel like niggas be trying to do like, even though it's Drake and he kind of like I guess started the back to backing yeah. people shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like niggas be trying to do that too much. Um, the narrative of like, oh, you still ain't respond. I think that's crazy considering. Like that came out and you waited three weeks to respond. Um, and your verse came out a week ago and now you like rushing a nigga to respond when it's like you took three weeks to respond. And you so, make it look more urgent because you drop another song. So it's so, all oh, you're dropping another song. So it makes it look like, oh, I'm I'm cranking out all of these diss records on you. What are you doing? Like you're standing yeah, still. Now, here's the difference. And because I could see how that tactic worked with the Meek Mill situation. But it's like in this particular scenario. The whole purpose of this trolling is to stop the impact that like that is having continually mm. with the fact that it's charting every week and that's what's making it so where Kendrick is not responding because he's like, yo, I'm going to wait for this shit to slow down before I start <laughs> doing something else that's because it's point. just going to impact the momentum of what's already going on. Mm. And you trolling because you know <laughs> I need to stop that shit from moving. Like he's mm. actually winning because I thought my diss was going knock this out the park where yeah i do numbers i'd always do numbers so i don't even have a bar to where it's like oh because i did this number i beat his song mm. so if it just stays at the top while everything else is happening mm-hmm. nigga drop something please <laughs> yeah <laughs> he you begging know? he begging yeah. him to drop a song like that's See, what but Kendrick it turns is one out of being. those people who's never been like i would never say like he's uh, like conform to the pressure yeah, he's of definitely having not, a release. He's definitely like, oh, not a rusher. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna rush this. And you the, don't dictate the time in which I respond, nigga. I started the shit. When I'm ready to address you, I'ma address you. And that's the wild shit because Kendrick never told this nigga he had to respond within a certain amount of time. <laughs> at all, he, he did, did the verse. We don't know when the nigga actually recorded the verse. This is true. We also know when true. the song came out, and then that nigga, we ain't hear from that nigga. I don't even did the nigga share the link to the song or nothing. He and just people, like, oh yeah. I feel like that's one of the major complaints I hear about Kendrick and his, I guess, uh, uh, his side of things in this battle mm-hmm. is that oh, you know, he's like a phantom or he's a ghost. He'll drop something, he'll disappear. You never hear from him again. He'll drop something, you'll. He'll have a run and then, mm. you know, he'll be done. Da da da. So it's just like, oh, he's not present enough to mm. be, you know, the favorite or the winner of, mm. you know, this I battle. I can say I'm definitely looking forward to his response. Because I know, yeah. like, with all of this. It's going to tact, happen. Oh, yeah, it's going to be lethal. I hope he drops it. I just don't want to. I hope hit. it's his song. <laughs> yeah. I hope I, it's not I, like, oh, from like what not everybody's feature. saying yeah. is that he has a diss. I don't know when you're going to put it out. It could be because of the song staying number one. I don't know the connection to the Taylor Swift thing that Drake was trying to yeah, make. Yeah, no, they bringing that Are up. Are they on the same label uh, or something? No, I apparently, have no like, idea. she's running, like, because, you know, who she is. And then um, on a corporate side, like, she has more power in on the administrative things with regard to making decisions and shit. So, to some degree, she does have a form of approval towards, I guess, his release schedule. Why does she have a form of approval? Are they on the same label or something? Um, I guess with that a Sony thing. And she on Sony with him. I don't, I don't even know the whole Sony. PG Lang thing going to Sony and stuff. Nah, I think they on Columbia. I don't know. You know? But also, I feel like uh, I feel like Taylor Swift dropping is kind of like Beyonce dropping. Is like, you're not about to put out no shit mm-hmm. the same day. It's all narratives. I get it. It's a battle. Like, that's cool. But Drake, you've also said that, like, you, you would get a Taylor Swift way. I've seen you do that shit before. Mm-hmm. Um no, he said that on that track, it actually. It didn't sound like it was about, like, oh, her release date and his release date can't line up. It sounded more like, oh, no, you got to come to her for approval on releasing this next song. <laughs> That's your holdup. Yeah, because she bought the drop. That's why I was like, oh. That's stupid. It's not nah, even it's the same like, demographic. Oh. Like this, I feel like these two things would not impact each other at all. Like, well, yeah, but like, if I got a white fan base and Taylor Swift's about to drop, like, to us, Taylor Swift don't do shit. To people who are present and what Taylor Swift got going on, she's a pretty big fucking deal. So like, I don't huge think deal. Kendrick is going to be the thing that's like, yo, hey, park your car. Because w- what about like that? Like that's already out. So is that impacting whatever Taylor was about to do? Like it's it's nah, like it's, 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 it's kind of like this, right? If like a lot of niggas, if Drake is going to drop an album Friday, niggas won't drop their album Friday because they don't want to have to compete with the attention that Drake's album is going to mm-hmm. get. Right. Where some niggas would be like, oh, I'm going to put an album out because now I know niggas is definitely going to go listen to music that day. 
But for the most part, when certain people drop, you want to stay out the way because that's going to divert attention from yeah. you today shit or whatever. My um, potential streams and sales. Yeah. The unexpected joint is, did y'all hear Kanye West remix to Like That? I yes. did. I, did. I definitely did, I did hear Kanye West uh, version uh, of Like That. They changed the beat a little bit. I like the production. I do I like the production. the words. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not like the words at all. Yeah, I didn't feel like he was dissing anybody. I felt like he said, "Oh, we're gonna get this pussy nigga," and then start talking about fucking bitches and um whatever mm-hmm. else he was talking about. I mean, he had the J Cole line in there, talk about that play was, J Cole makes the pussy dry. Whatever. Not gonna lie, can't um. Nah, that was, like, nah, that was just, mad just funny. Just not gonna lie, I'm not even gonna lie, that was mad funny. That though. nigga's <laughs> off his rocker. Yeah, I know I don't really be agreeing with this nigga. <laughs> But you want to talk about a nigga being spot on? Bro, nah. That... I ain't never been in a kickback. <laughs> I ain't never been in the mix. <laughs> and J. Cole come in the back, and I ain't never did this bro, before, no. Yeah, and bro, the hoes is like, oh my God. Yeah, the hoes, the hoes don't get horny off the J. Cole. Like, <laughs> niggas ain't getting horny off Born Sinner. But... <laughs> they start to rethink their decision. But why they they want to talk about FAFSA. <laughs> they want to talk about... But why did Kanye go over there and talk about why, why he even said something to J. Cole? J. Cole apologized listen, and stepped man. out the way. Listen, it's it's now That's it's what on. happens it's when you on. apologize. When you apologize, everybody feels like they could slap you in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you know what I compare this moment in hip hop, not even in hip hop, just like in music in general. Uh, I'll get more into that later. But it's like, oh, you know that clip in Boondocks where they at the award show and niggas throw the chair and it's just like oh and then they later on at the fight everything calms down and then Riley throws the chair and yeah. don't hit nobody mm-hmm. but everybody just like starts going crazy oh, I feel like that's moment. what's music doing right now like the music industry right now is pretty much like like that came out so Metro and Future came in like when they came into the door they threw the doors open so everybody looks and it's just like Kendrick threw a chair and it like <laughs> it landed in front of two people and everybody just kind of went crazy. Now Chris Brown went to like Quavo and was just like, yo, like, yeah, you pussy, we... nigga. And it's yeah, like, oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Everybody's going crazy now. Nigga. Everybody's going crazy about this, now. This, this Chris Brown and Quavo thing. But before that, before that though, uh, so for the Kanye shit, uh-huh. when Kanye's like that remix, I felt like um, he he's trying to interject himself into this because I feel like they, he feels like he was left out. I feel like niggas, <laughs> niggas, I feel like Kanye West's ego will not let him exist and have other niggas say that there's a big three of hip hop. Because in, in, let, let alone rap and shit, just like oh, just hip hop. He's gonna that's all he's gonna look at it as. Like oh, there's three people that's bigger than Kanye West. Nah, I feel like I feel like that don't apply because. Okay, clearly he's a Drake fan in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, certain people, especially like in certain age brackets and mm. like the year they came out, yeah, that they're on a level above the big three. Mm-hmm. As in, like, ah, uh, okay, here's where I exist at. It's kind of supersede. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. okay, I would say that, yeah. like Jay Z still exists. Not so it's like, oh definitely. yeah, I'm not the big three. Is for like, oh, the current. Yeah, this mm-hmm. generation. The current generation. Yeah, these yeah, are the three yeah. biggest niggas running around. Okay. Pause. Okay. Um, so it's like, oh, as Kanye West and as like other niggas, it's like, oh yeah, this don't this don't apply to me. Going like, into uh, that, yeah. what did Drake do to Kanye? They've been going back and forth for a while. Like, like six years, I guess, yeah. But like it's always gonna what be over did he women. Do? <laughs> Probably Kanye so told y'all he niggas. Do? Drake is a petty yeah, ass yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, and it's also is like I feel like everybody who says something about Drake kind of has like some truth to it, like the Rick Ross stance and like mm-hmm. these people's stances, where it's like the the gratitude and energy you show to people when you first show up compared to like the amount of success you receive, where it's like and supporting from certain people like Jay Prince and things like that. It's mm-hmm. like yeah, nah, you you're in a you're in an infinite loop of I'm feeling myself and can't nobody stop me. So now it's like you might do certain things that a normal person would know would get your fucking head knocked off your body. Mm-hmm. And you just constantly do those things. And because it's Drake, you know, we kind of give shit a pass. Like even in the his freestyle, like the line where he was like, oh, rap about him liking underage girls. Joe Budden said it. It must be true. Nigga, we've seen you with the underage girls. Mm. They've seen mm-hmm. you like you. Mm-hmm. You taking eighteen year olds out to dinner? I seen a video where somebody was like, "Yo, imagine your daughter came to you and was like, oh, this is my who you texting? I'm texting my friend. He's thirty and she's like seventeen. 
Whoa. You think that's weird? That is a little weird. Like, that's yeah. more than a little weird. That's a grown like, right, ass cool. The, the grown man is Drake and the girl is this person right here. It don't matter that they celebrities. It's like, what do you really have to talk about with this 17-year-old girl? Like, Jeez. You're going on dates with 18. You be you be doing a lot of suspect shit, bro. Tupac telling us it might not be true. It ain't going to make mm. us think it ain't true. Mm. Like, But that's the level of success he has, whereas like anybody else would have kind of been like, Cancel culture, you know, it's the it's the R. Kelly thing. Oh, I was you, just about to you say, move the, you about to put R. Kelly. You move the needle so much <laughs> that niggas is just gonna act like certain shit's yeah, not look. going on, and mm. we are gonna downplay it like oh, it's crazy. Man. Uh, with the Kanye shit, it's like, oh yeah, yo, y'all y'all do weird shit back and forth. Push your T side. Oh yeah, y'all these are the games y'all play. Y'all play little yep. games back and forth. Da da da. Yep. And that's how that shit be going. Like Drake be saying whatever he want to about niggas, and niggas be like, oh, like this nigga coming out and dissing them. Yeah, yeah, nigga, you just spent like twelve bars on the song, telling my baby moms like, oh yeah, y'all broke niggas going to Antigua. Like, yeah, yeah, you keep so, throwing so shots does, at me like how that. Does Kendrick, this is what I want to ask: How y'all feel about Kendrick's perspective when he like went to go punch him? Mm -hmm. He punched him, and then now everybody else throwing their hits, and it's like, oh, why y'all jumping? Him? <laughs> I mean, I listen. don't feel like Kendrick asked for any of that. Nah, he didn't necessarily. But not. also, it's like that's not Kendrick's fault. I did also a feature true. on a Metro and Future album that just happened to be about a nigga like you. <laughs> and because and I'm, I'm saying something, right? You know, I'm telling you, I'm really like that. Yeah, it's like if um, what was I about to say? It's like, all right, cool, right? If me and you have a a disagreement or some shit like years ago or whatever, mm -hmm. and whatever the case may be, you do some foul shit. And I'm saying you doing foul shit, but because it don't affect him, he don't really got nothing to say about it. Now, I come back later on and say, yo, you, you was a foul nigga, but during that time between the first time and the second time I said it, he realized you a foul nigga, and he goes, nah, facts. We not jumping you. Like, mm -hmm. he kind of... Mm -hmm. He kind of came <laughs> to the same realization. Yeah, came to my oh, own realization. Oh, yeah. 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 You've been doing, you be doing you know, fuck nigga shit. Sometimes shit line Rick up. Ross, uh, his... His uh the the this record he did had the most streaming numbers in history for all of his songs. Like his first day streaming. Mm -hmm. Well, one he best. got that shit on streaming platforms fast as fuck. Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Like for this record, yeah, he got that up on So is this major capitalizing on the moment or is this oh I actually got an issue with you? I mean, this is Rick Ross, though. This is, yeah, this is how he has this particular <laughs> brand of, oh, if we're battling, like just how you say, like, oh, Drake's a petty guy. Oh, Ross has a, a, a damn near endless, like, troll cranking out content machine going he where he's like, oh, he's going to he just clown you. If he makes up a nickname, it's definitely mm -hmm. going to stick. Should and be it, just, catchy. it just makes sense where it's like, oh, I'm about to drop a diss response that I know everybody's going to look at. Oh, I'm going to make some money off of this. Yeah. Did y'all see, did Why not? see the tip for tat outside of the music? Oh, yeah. Between the, Drake that, and Ross? That yeah. is pure comedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drake and Gold. Metro, yeah. yeah. White yeah. boy. Hey, second commercial break, right? And we're not that bitch-ass nigga who's not going to call you a bitch-ass nigga. Y'all bitch-ass niggas, make sure y'all go run up our music. Lemon is out right now. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube. Make sure y'all follow us on all social media. Because if you don't, you'd be a... What'd you call him? Okay. He's being a guy. Back to the episode. To the Chris Brown Quavo shit. That's dark. I ain't gonna front, man. It's just the energy of yeah, what Yeah, nah. He, I just what wish you didn't say the last right part. That last part of that last song... Definitely was like, man, like you was, it was all fun and games till you did that. Listen, man. I mean, it's beef, right? It, that nigga we Christopher beefing. Maurice that, Brown, yo. Yeah, Are y'all saying up, that it's down. okay? Not saying it's okay, but it's like, uh, he, he already did it. So it's like, oh, it doesn't matter if we think it's okay. Mm. I did it already. So whether we think it's okay or not, nigga, mm. that's, is it rules I'm standing on that. No. Is there anything, I think it's rules. Yeah. Is there anything that should be off limits? Should be, If yeah. we doing this. I, I think. I think there can be rules. I don't think that was against the rules. Doubling back to the Drake shit is like, do you feel like Drake broke any rules? Because I asked that because I know when Pusha T dropped that diss track on like World MS Day and was making fun of 40, then I remember Drake was like, oh, like, nah, there's supposed to be rules and like there's certain things you just don't do. Mm. But, you know, niggas only care about the rules when the rules are against them. But... Uh, with Chris Brown and Quavo, I don't feel like that was against the rules. Um, mm. cause I don't feel like he disrespected takeoff. Like I oh, feel yeah. like if you just disrespected a dead person, like that's kind of like corny. 
where it was like, oh yeah, nah, like I fucked with Takeoff, and everybody wished it was you instead. And now that stings a little bit, right? Because it's lot. like, like oh, oh he said in that. that situation, you feel me, right? A lot of people at that time, I felt felt something similar to that sentiment, where it's like, yo, he shouldn't have, take off the quiet one. He don't usually be mm-hmm. in that kind of environment. You got him in this environment and shit, shit go left, and then it's like, you know, so well, that no, was he'd a, be at dice games, but it was facts. like the story is that it it was like your, your fault, your fault, like you yes. had a hand in like the escalation of right. the situation, and you know, offsets so already gone. Because remember, they used to say Quavo was Beyonce of the group. And then they was like, oh, no, nah, it's actually takeoff. And then it was offset. And it's like, oh, yeah, nah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think Quavo should stop. I think he should stop immediately because I feel like Chris Brown smoked him. Mm-hmm. Crying. No, the song I, was fire, I wouldn't though. say he won. I feel like, oh, he really came at him in that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Saying that, yo, you worried about, like, my ex-girl, like, oh, I fucked your girl when you was still <laughs> with her. And then... I'm the bigger... I got the bigger win on that one, yeah, And definitely. then for, like... The girl we all think that he talking about to share it and just be like, ooh, child. <laughs> yeah. And then start promoting her song. Yeah. I said, oh. Uh, saying she about to go back and write verses, you know, rewrite these uh, Punani verses. Yeah, Yo. she got to stop rapping, though. Still look good, sweetie. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot gotta, of shit going on. So I feel like that's... You got to stop rapping. That's like, oh, that chair moment of mm-hmm. the chair being thrown and now it's up. Oh, okay, we about to be... Competitive, we're all about to just go hyper competitive. Yeah, that was you, best one. you can't. I feel like Quavo specifically, you can't win a battle against Chris Brown because you don't typically make songs that niggas want to listen to in full. Mm-hmm. That's just you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't really have too many songs that is just Quavo yeah, on that niggas be like, I'm about to play this yeah, song. Yeah, I'm about to just bump this Quavo track. Like, yeah, where well, yeah. it's like, this is Chris Brown. Like, they've been doing everything to like blackball this nigga, and he's still. Yeah. Running it up on he's niggas, be doing backflips. Yeah, and he's performing. <laughs> like, yeah, and yeah, that last that track he dropped was a good track. I mm-hmm. liked it. My, you feel me? Yeah, I definitely like the beat. I like his, you know, his the flow, and he was saying some shit. So, I think the apology in the beginning was real, like the little voicemail. No apology. Now, see, like the song is, starts the with AI a voicemail. Shit, uh, of, Quavo. Well, I'm explaining to this nigga. So the. Song starts with a voicemail where it's like Quavo, like, yo, Chris, man, like, I don't want no trouble, man. It ain't no problem. Like, it ain't yeah. nothing like that, man. We're going to leave yeah. it alone, man. Nah, that's AI. I didn't even hear, but that got to be AI. Nigga, you bet not. <laughs> you bet not. Now, that's man. the problem we have it now, is you bet, that you bet whenever not. there's something that one person may not like or believe, right. that was AI. Like, nah, it better be. It's AI, AI until it's proven otherwise, and then it's like, <laughs> right? How how does that process work? Because how did this how did this be not be no J Cole? Bro, real, we right? have to limit this AI shit. Cause some just crossed my mind. Imagine the game decides to drop a new album. Mm. Easy E's going to be on like seven Yo, songs, bro. Like the, the whole MC Run, all them all them MC niggas. MC Run. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even dead, bro. <laughs> he can still get him, like. That'd be wild, right? Nigga, still wild. He said, You go get AI for him. He won't clear it. <laughs> he won't clear the verse. <laughs> Man. Nah, but yo, yeah. Easy E, all of that, like, just, yeah, going wild. I, that's what I said. Like, I feel like it just opens up a crazy door mm-hmm. where it's like anybody could bring anybody back from the dead. Yeah, motherfucker put that Pandora. You yeah, I'm about to get this Prince feature go crazy. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like. Chris Brown and Quavo's Paul is leading the beefs right now. Oh, like, yeah, in terms of, like, animosity and shit. Because I seen it, a, I seen it, ain't no, it ain't no lag. It ain't no lag in this shit. It's like, yeah. oh, nigga said something on his deluxe. That nigga put out a shit. Mm-hmm. We only had to really wait, like, a week, if that. Mm-hmm. Less nah, than a man, week. It's, it's, it's still... This is rough. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not... I don't want to be around this way. I've seen people compare the, the two feuds going on right now, seeing like, yes. oh, the Kendrick, Cole, and Drake that's shit is like... That's commercial feud. Yeah, that's commercial. <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> this shit look like it's, it, Chris it, Brown, it could take said, a turn said, for the worse. What do you say? I'm a gang member? Like, he's like, oh, I'm really like that or whatever. He he really is, though. Like, like, and that's my is. point. Like, yo, nah, we don't want to see this go there, guys. Come on. Y'all both had See, and that you already got to think like a lot of the R and B guys got the you know the complex like mm-hmm. oh don't let this R and B shit fool you don't let this singing shit fool you because right. there's a there's a you stigma. got body by singing nigga yeah see but then it'd be shit like that where it'd be like oh, you can't be like oh don't let this singing shit fool you and then be like yo you just got body by this singing nigga like I feel like 
All right, which one is it? You want me to take it? <laughs> no, it, 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 that's, it's the same thing. That's, that's that flipping the, the notion like, because uh, uh, if I'm a singer and everybody gives me a soft, soft and yeah. I smoke you, mm. that's what they're going to say to you. Oh, you, you got okay, body by a singer, nigga. Mm. Okay. The, the, okay. The viewpoint is, oh, you shouldn't lose to me because mm. I sing, but that's not the case. Right. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, lyrical ability, I, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to give it to Chris Brown. Yeah, no, nah, um, Quavo can. But Quavo can make a good song. Like I feel like nah, he can he, throw some can catchy he make hooks a good in there. Right catchy. Now is the question. Name You're a song. Have to see. <laughs> oh damn! Right? Why is his name a song? Why you did that? I, I can't name a. You said a good Quavo song. Yeah, like by himself. By himself. Yeah, you yeah, say yeah, he can make a good he song. Said. Name a song. He did, I, he I did say. Can tell you. I couldn't even tell you one. Damn. I think you're thinking you about cold. Offset. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you're thinking about Offset. Oh, cold. I was to say, I can't even name a single cold. one. You like, feel me? I, I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, sing, sing a verse from like a Quavo song by himself that you fuck. That's by like himself? Good. That's what I'm saying. Like I can't even, can't even think do of a Quavo right? song You know any like Offset songs by himself? Not necessarily like... Not like Mego songs. Like. Yeah, but yeah, I feel like yeah. I would. I feel yeah, like I'm nice. more familiar with like Offset's, mm -hmm. you know, solo career mm -hmm. as comparison to like Quavo's. Like, I don't say he can yeah. make a good song. We ain't, I, heard, I, I, you we know, ain't heard a single one. Yeah, well, yeah. we're gonna have to see. Sh show us something. Show I think, us something. I think I JT know. from City Girls got a solo song doing better than any crying. She's solo fake Quavo too, song. ain't she? She's yeah. with her, the other half of the. Yeah, I think City they like Girls. pieced it up. Like, I don't that's know. what's up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, I also seen uh niggas is thinking that Taylor Swift is throwing shots at Kim Kardashian and whatever song <laughs> she got. So I just feel like the entire music industry is just. <laughs> Taking this Yo, competitiveness, or throwing shots. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask y'all about that shit too. Do y'all feel? I seen it going around that people are blaming Cat Williams from his Club Shay Shay interview when he ha. said that this is going to be a year of truths and truths will be revealed. <laughs> Do y'all think this is his fault because he set off the year with like that energy, that energy, and now everybody's like, yeah, you know what? Fuck mm -hmm. this whole ass shit that's going on. Um, yeah, he definitely. I wouldn't say it's his fault. Um, does he may did, did he play did he, a role? Did he, give, did he provide the spark? Yeah, he, he was he the yes. catalyst yes. Okay. for this yes. behavior. So, yeah, hundred mm, percent. Yes. I don't, I don't yes. even know because who I didn't who didn't see the interview? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I, mean, yeah, we I feel like the intention. I feel like his intention wasn't necessarily to be like. Oh, I'm about to go up here and roast and flame fact, these niggas. It's just like, oh, I'm tired of niggas talking lies and saying like. No, that's what shit. I mean. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he went up there unapologetically, spoke his truth, mm -hmm. and was like, nah, this is gonna be the year of truth. And the ripple effect that had in like comedy. Do you think like him starting the year with that ah. energy? Caused everybody else to be I like, will, now you know what? I'm also tired of this shit. I will definitely yeah. uh, attribute uh, him being the catalyst for this very hyper competitive, everybody taking shots at everybody, da da da. Or this is the time I'm about to speak up and say some shit, or how I felt about you this whole time. Oh, you've been a bitch ass nigga. I just ain't never say it until now. Mm. I will definitely give him some of that credit. Y'all yeah. heard he beefing yeah. with uh, Shannon? Who? Cat Williams? Yeah, like Shannon they, Sharp? They have issues over that interview. Wow. Something, something happened after. It was one of the best interviews, Shannon Sharp? Yeah. yeah. Had for the show. Apparently, like... One of the most successful ones. He did him wrong in some way. Like, they're not, they're not on good terms. With Cat them. Williams said Shannon Sharp did him wrong? Yeah. They don't like each other right now. Oh, uh, oh it could I'm, be the shit that Shannon said, like, after the interview came out. Okay. Because he like, was... Yeah, uh, he, he, he said he was highly offended. Yeah, because I think um, Shannon was kind of like... Portraying is like, oh yeah, but from the time even before they started shooting, oh he was drinking and shit, like basically mm -hmm. saying that, oh yeah, now nah, he was saying that because he was drunk. But you know, Shannon was also getting a lot of heat for mm -hmm. niggas being like, yo, why would you let somebody go up there and say that or whatever? Shannon did mm -hmm. say like, yo, I, I have, uh, I lost a lot of business from doing that particular. Mm -hmm. I mean, right? Well. You, you gained a lot of exposure. Yeah, but you, you, lost you a lot gained of more because yeah. it's like, yeah, I feel like, like you what? gained a lot more. I than... did not know about the Shannon Sharp mm -hmm. interview. And I, I watched maybe three more mm -hmm. just because of that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like people who know you, they kind of got this weird thing. It's like, oh, somebody can't go and say nothing. But it ain't even like super negative. It's like, yeah, nah. Everything the nigga said, he proved for the most part. Some yeah. shit was biased because it's mm -hmm. like. Well, he's trying to say to entertain the shows be trash is like that's not true because that yeah, neighborhood yeah, shit yeah. is actually mad funny. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm here to co-sign that. Mm. Uh, 
Steve Harvey being bald, that was true. That yeah, shit on stage yeah. when he rose to Steve Harvey, that was true. Steve Harvey doing bitch ass shit to niggas, that was true. Niggas mm-hmm. said that. Uh, stealing jokes and shit. Cool. Niggas stealing mm-hmm. jokes. Phase on love being the hating ass nigga. All of these things was true. <laughs> mm-hmm. All of these things were true. Yeah. So yeah, I can I can give him that that credit for just setting the tone for the year. Mm-hmm. Um, will the year keep it up? I don't know. This might it's not I might hit a no peak signs. at summer and then kind of like I don't die see down. no signs of slowing down. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Because we still waiting for some responses. So it's like, oh no, nah, it's gonna. Because we got to maybe continue. three, yeah. four more rounds before, because Drake ain't slowing down. Kendrick taking it personal. J. That, Cole. Yeah. And then he got that, the subset beats going on doing. between Drake yeah, J. Cole and about Ross to, they about and to Drake start and Metro. The future. He's going to have to come back and start fighting somebody. He's going to have to hit somebody. The yeah. verses don't hit the same, man. Yeah. He, no matter what he says <laughs> on the song, all we're going to do is be like, nah, we know you can rap. Yeah, see, I feel like that's gonna be the the brushing off the dismissiveness. Not to say mm-hmm. like, oh, I could, yeah, you're still going in the Hall of Fame. It's just like ah, like you almost like you, or or you're going in the Hall of Fame without the ring. Like mm-hmm. you're gonna you're gonna be in there. Yeah, you're you're a legendary player. You feel me? Sean you did some Barley. great things, but um, you never you didn't, you're not gonna get that ring. You know? You know what it is too. I feel like J Cole fans view J Cole as Mike Tyson. When J. Cole is more like Suge Knight. So what mm. I mean by that is uh, everybody viewed Mike Tyson when he came out. was like, oh, like, yeah, da-da-da. We seen Mike Tyson lose. We seen Mike Tyson get knocked out, right? But there's still the, nah, that's Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. We don't look at any other boxer the way we still look at Mike Tyson, even though we've seen Mike Tyson lose and have ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Like in and outside the ring, too, yeah. Facts. Suge Knight, it was like, oh, shit, that's Suge Knight. And then we see Suge Knight get knocked out by that one bar, but at one time, <laughs> and now it'd be like, it don't even matter if he got the same resources. We just be like, have hey, we seen this nigga get knocked out? Yeah. yeah <laughs> and I feel like that's, yeah, we know you Suge Knight, bro. Like, but you know, we seen you get knocked out by a barber and it wasn't even like a giant barber. It was a regular size barber. Yeah. It was a, it was what they, a every man mm-hmm. when they cast and looking for regular niggas, one of them niggas got you like, yeah. That's that's how I feel yeah. about J. Cole. It's like no matter what scary shit Suge Knight say now, it's going to be like, yo, but you got knocked out. By yourself. Like, you did it to yourself, you know? Damn. Yeah, man. Ah, yep. So it's 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 an interesting <laughs> moment in, in music, particularly hip-hop, but I feel like it's starting to spread and permeate throughout the genres. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's We're go time. To be alive, I'm right? waiting for the actors to start. Yeah. Dissing each other and be like, fuck out of here, nigga. Let's do an audition reel right now. <laughs> <laughs> right monologue for monologue, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? You feel me? I'm waiting for the video hoes to do it. Like, <laughs> mm. Let the video hoes do it. How they gonna compete? Uh, dick sucking contest. Man. Crying. I volunteer as tribute to <laughs> <laughs> we got to get to the bottom of this, okay? <laughs> Yo, this is round, nah. round two fifty. Nah. You feel me? Ah <laughs> oh, man, kids, Ruby man. Rose and Sweetie still beefing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to see. <laughs> I, I don't want to see the end of this. I man. got the solution, okay? <laughs> Somebody gotta step up. It's always about the next fight. And I'm gonna step up three D. <laughs> I'm going to step up to the streets. Yo. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Fucking tears, yo. Yeah, man. You feel me? Yeah. It's a wild time. Oh, good man. time to be alive. <laughs> you know? Good, good time for music. It's yeah. shit draining, man. You can't yeah. even just wake up and look at your phone. Nah, no, you, yeah. you expect yeah, some all. shit to be Everybody's there. challenging and throwing shots at everybody. Every time I wake up, it's like a metaphorical like, oh, shit, y'all. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's nonstop. Yeah. It's like, damn, I can't even be like tired for work in peace. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, man. That's where we at right now, uh, man. Music's yeah. going to be like this. Like I said, I feel like it might cap off or like hit its peak in like summer. Um, no, we still they got thinks, people that got yep, that It's going to go throughout the year. Like, uh, then he didn't get knocked out, right? No, it was a decision. Who? The Ryan Garcia fight situation, Devin Haney, because there was a lot of talk about that. Just be yeah. going in. But he didn't like, he, he, it wasn't like he could win the title. He was overweight. What? Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Garcia, he missed. He, was, he missed the weigh-in and by he three had to pounds. Pay him, like a yeah, million you, dollars. You lose money. Shit. Yeah, you got you owe money if you missed the weigh-in. Now we could still fight, but it's like, weight? oh, you're not getting he this was three title. pounds overweight. 
You chuck the beer. But right boxing after. is by weight class. You know that, right? So one pound can take you out of your weight class. Yeah, yeah this is super dang. lightweight title fight. And like the weigh in is the day. The weigh in is the day before the fight. So it's like you had months. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the whole point of doing that. You supposed to train, do all that shit, make sure you make your weight. Mm-hmm. Oh, but realistic. I don't know like, what's been going niggas on. Cheat. Niggas be doing, huh? Is that like cheating? Like it's not cheating. Than... No, 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 no. But it's like if we supposed to fight for the belt. We both have to be in that weight class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're three pounds outside of that weight class. You don't you don't qualify as a nigga in that weight class because you didn't win the belt while being within this weight range. Yeah, and I'm assuming when you sign your contract, you agreed to meet the weight requirements. Mm-hmm. Da da da. So it's like, oh, now you have to pay me the penalty fee for not making the weight, and then it's like, I guess we can still fight, and I guess mm-hmm. they did, but it's just like, oh, it's not gonna be a title fight. So you mm-hmm. win, but now it's like, oh, you don't get the title. So it's like, I guess you could get the street cred or talk mm-hmm. like, oh, I beat this nigga. Da, da, da. But yeah. then people are gonna be like, "Well, you were three pounds overweight. You kind of mm-hmm. had an advantage yeah, over him." Let, let me see the belt. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know what's been going on with Ryan Garcia. I feel like ever since like the who was he? Who did he fight? Um, what was his? I guess the last fight before this one. He fought hard. somebody. I can't remember who. Wow, that's horrible. You don't got to pretend to watch boxing for us. Man. Nah, but I feel like ever since that fight, <laughs> hit that nigga too hard. Went, he just it, started yeah, doing crazy just, shit. He just started like either not caring or something. Like I feel like he just stopped. I don't know, man. It's like his whole personality kind of. Yeah, like just, I think he so definitely he, leaned too he just, much. Like, did he whip his ass? Yeah, no, nah, I heard he was fucking him up. Yeah, I, was, saw I, saw knockdown, clips. I saw clips. I saw clips. But is it justified? He was fucking him up. Is it justified though? Like, is yeah, but a like lot of people earning. didn't think the other dude was gonna be able to beat this nigga anyway. Yeah, okay. it was just he was like trolling so much, and it was kind of like uncharacteristic. Mm-hmm. Where he was like, "Yo, what's wrong with this nigga?" Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Where it, it kind of like... made you think, "Oh, he off his game. Like, he might win." But mm-hmm. for the most part, all the black people I talked to, they was kind of like, "Oh, nah, he's gonna Ryan Garcia was gonna win." Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's and you know, usually when the black people fight the yeah. Spanish people, it'd be like yeah. the racial war. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, they just knew. So, who's gonna do it, man? Who's gonna, who's gonna get rid of Ryan Garcia now? Is there anything to get rid of? Don't give me a, I don't give two fucks about yeah. boxing. I'm telling you yeah. right now. Like, so, you're not bro. looking forward to Mike? That's Mike Tyson. Right. Mike Tyson's bigger than boxing. That's the only mm-hmm. reason niggas is mm-hmm. watching him fight. Mm-hmm. I watch Mike Tyson fight a pit bull, nigga. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. It's Mike Tyson, me. nigga. That yeah. Is true. yeah, no, yeah. yeah anything Mike did, At the time, niggas is watching Mike Tyson podcast to see if he scared niggas. Like, oh, Yo, today what? might be the week. <laughs> today, oh, he almost whooped boosy ass. Oh, oh shit, so, I know yep. next episode. I'm so yep. surprised. Like, oh, y'all. He's yeah, playing. playing with Mike. Like, yo, just the switch. Like, mm-hmm. when you just turn on, like, bro. fuck you said. Bro. Yeah, before we got out of here, I wanted to bring up some super duper random shit. Yeah. Did y'all know that Scooby Doo isn't a dog? What? What do you mean? Scooby Doo, the dog that we see on the cartoon. Scooby Doo, the animal from Scooby Doo Mysteries. And yeah, like, did the you know he's not a dog? He's a so, <laughs> before I answer, have you ever noticed when, like, people be like, oh, the kids and the dog and Scooby Doo? And he always be like, who's a dog? Yeah, ever mm. people like, when uh, be like, sometimes okay. I've seen that, yeah. So there was a clip from an episode. I don't know which iteration of Scooby Doo it was, but there was another dog or dog looking thing there. Mm-hmm. It was a female dog. And she was like, Oh, yeah, we're not dogs. Like, oh, yeah, we're from the Anunnaki. We came to Earth like during certain time periods when certain like portals or thresholds is open. So they showing like how like the Egyptians had like the dog niggas and the owl niggas and all of that. It was like, Oh, yeah, now nah, we've came to Earth several times, but we don't have physical forms. So we have to inhabit animals. In what? order to have a physical form. And he was like, oh, yeah, our descendants. That's why certain animals can talk, because they're our descendants. What? And, oh, apparently Scooby-Doo is, is a descendant it? of oh. the Anunnaki. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> All right, right? Yeah, now thank you for the insight. Scooby-Doo's joy boy now. Like. <laughs> I mean, only only his family talk. Like, that true. We ain't seen no other dog on Scooby-Doo talk. Very true. Except that one dog in the movie, but they was aliens. They, and they were aliens. And that was about the, that's the only thing I could think about was like, oh, maybe they're aliens. I feel like that's a movie or I don't know. But I wasn't expecting that shit. Nah, at not at all. Motherfucker said Scooby. I'm not. You said Scooby Doo the dog. <laughs> <laughs> that the I'm cartoon like, we grew dog. up watching. He's I'm not. Like, I saw him. He was they a dog lied the to us too. Time. Nah, he Come looked on. like a dog. I don't know, but he's a fucking but he spirit. By the yeah, when I he's seen that shit, I was like, huh? Spirits. And then they brought up like, yo, you never peeped how the nigga when they would call him a dog or somebody referred to him as a dog. He'd be like, oh, there's a dog here. Like, 
I was wow. like, yeah, like he did do that, but I thought nah, that's because they just let the nigga eat people food all the yeah, time. Yeah, he yeah, talks and he, like, he like, does like, like human shit. shit. Yeah, he was like, an uppity nigga. Like. Crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's there interesting, right? Scooby Doo lore. What the fuck? You know? That's the last thing I thought you was about to say. Motherfucker said the Anunnaki. Like. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, so the, oh, so they, they, they aware. I guess they're like, you know, spirits or something. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah. now the staff at Cartoon Network's really woke. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, that's what I'm staff getting at. Like, hey. Yeah, staff. This is, this is yeah. too much truth. To yeah, the niggas over at Hannah Barbera. Hannah and Barbera. They've been trying to tell us for years, man. Yo, what? That's why everybody an animal in their show for the most part. Except the ranger from Yogi Bear. Right? Yeah, yo. Nah. <laughs> everybody who not an animal in most Hannah Barbera shit is a hating ass nigga. Like. Yeah. Or this a kid. Yo. Wow. Interesting shit. Anunnaki oh, bias. You know right? people be fucking animals. Yep. You learn, right. learn something right. new it's every half, day. It's a half Yo, human, half dog, watching? half Anunnaki nigga running around. Y'all, Book of Clarence, y'all gotta see that shit. Shit mm. was dumb funny. Motherfucker Jesus told the nigga, Yo, stop, stop messing with that donkey, man. She, and then the wife slapped him like, God, smelt it on <laughs> Tears. <laughs> Crazy ass shit. Yeah. Man. Right? Incest, right? That's how we nah, gonna end the show. <laughs> oh, excuse me, bestiality. That's excuse me, bestiality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. I gotta see that movie, man. White man, wife caught him fucking the donkey, man. Nah, Jesus was like, yo, you gotta stop touching that, man. You gotta stop doing that, man. I'm gonna tell you what. Not, not okay. <laughs> All right, right. All right. Yeah. I think that's a good spot. You think that's a good spot? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good spot to leave. I don't know, man. Uh, WNBA draft was the other day. Uh, oh yeah, nice, right? Mm. They a lot of uh, talks over with Caitlin. Yeah, Clark. the contract. Caitlin contract. Clark with number one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, number one draft pick. Yeah, yeah, she's the number one draft pick. Definitely. Stop. Even I. Yeah. What you mean stop? Aware. No, she was. What? She's Why are you saying huge, stop? Like right now? Because isn't like now nah, they were just showing. Never mind. I ain't going. Hate. Oh, like her paycheck? No, it, no, the stats, like, of all the people in the WNBA, it was like, oh, they're giving all this credit, and it was, like, somebody else that really killed that year or something. Oh, you're talking about Juju, right? Like, There's the a girl that, in the WNBA who won, like, the last two chips in the MVP, and, like, niggas was saying, like, why she don't get that attention for being nice or whatever. Okay. Um... There's the coach from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, she was actually in an episode of Martin when, like, them girls bust Martin, Colin, Tommy ass. That was funny. Yeah, she's a beast. I think she only lost, like, three games in the last three years. Yeah, some she's shit like 109 that. and three. Yeah, five. That's, that's coach. wow. Uh, but, yeah, Caitlin Clark was number one. Mm -hmm. Niggas was talking about the paychecks. I, I think. was looking at that, and I was like, yo, um, it says 300000 a year, right? <clears throat> that's that's a year's worth of work? No, 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 no. Nah. She's getting, like, 79000 a year. But that's four months. How long is the NBA season? Because it's literally like a oh, like how long would she the actually WNBA be like, season? Mm, like oh, to perform? That's that's a quarter of the year. Niggas are not thinking of it as in, <laughs> hey, I get paid to play basketball. Mm. Niggas is thinking, <laughs> oh, the wackest nigga in the NBA is making a million dollars a year. He's playing eighty two games. You playing basketball for four months, and then you're going to do the rest of your life shit. Like you could go have a baby. Plus, like, yeah. your company doesn't make. That much money, yeah. Hey, That's the on, biggest thing on, I've seen. Was people like, Yo, if you want, metrics, want, you want the women in the NW, uh, I mean the WNBA to be paid mm -hmm. higher, then it's like, oh, you have to support it more. How many WNBA teams you think there are? I don't know. Like, if you had to guess, how many mm -hmm. WNBA teams you think there are? Twelve. Yeah, nigga. I was gonna say twelve or sixteen. All right. Yeah, assuming this, assuming this, let's let's do we could do twelve. Let's do sixteen. All right, let's do sixteen because mm -hmm. we don't know. Like, so we'll go higher. Six, sixteen teams. Basketball is a five on five sport, right? You have to have a bench, so that's ten people on each team theoretically. Mm -hmm. That's one hundred and sixty women playing in the WNBA, plus the ones that we don't know about, or whatever. Mm -hmm. How many women do you know that can name twenty people in the WNBA? I don't know. So don't yeah. tell me about yeah. no fucking money. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, this is a wrap. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me about no fucking money. watching the WNBA has either played in the WNBA, uh, had a family member that played in WNBA. It's mostly men. But now it's like, oh, the, the women that's coming out of college is like, oh, I'm expecting higher viewership. Like, Caitlin Clark, they had to change the stadium. For yeah, her, her endorsement for contract is crazy. Nigga. Apparently, but it's like, oh, like, yeah, like, every year, stop having the conversation about <laughs> equal pay. Y'all don't mm. watch the games. Marcus don't really watch basketball like that. Like facts, he can name you ten niggas in the NBA right now. That's a fact. And mm -hmm. even with Caitlin Clark, though, it's like, oh, I seen mad shit about this lady 
like towards the end of her college career, just mm-hmm. like, oh, she's about to be the next big thing in women's basketball. Right. So it's like, oh, all right, cool. Do you expect like these type of stars to be compensated a certain mm-hmm. type of way? Mm-hmm. Now, if the overall pay is not to your liking because it's like, oh, that's unfair. Then in the WNBA, it should be what millions of dollars instead of hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Then it's like, oh, well, then get your ass up, go to a game, you feel me, buy a jersey or something, Mm because I think she broke the record on jersey sales and all that shit, too. So it's like, oh, she's doing shit for, I guess, the industry Mm, by just going Mm. to the shit. Like, oh, I'm about to take this shit to the next level. I feel like most women, you feel me, should be, you know, supporting that, that. They said that the WNBA every year racks up a $10 million deficit. No way. And the and the, w, NBA, in, the pay NBA pays the ten million all for them that balances their books. Mm. What more do you want us to pay these niggas? Dap? Crying. That is accurate. We could crying. We could come to the game and dap y'all the fuck up. Like <laughs> seventy nine thousand in a good dap when you having a bad day? Change your life. Seventy nine thousand for four months. Now, I got to think, like, that's it don't like even matter a, Because you also got to factor in, it's like, you got training, you got practices, you got all of that shit. Travel, right? you know. Cool. But it's also, it's like, yo, you're getting paid to play basketball. If y'all niggas was making millions, if this shit was making millions of dollars, I'd be the first nigga like, nah, y'all got to pay these girls, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not the case. But if I'm getting $80,000 and y'all niggas losing money regardless, mm-hmm. and I just wanted to play basketball... Pieces. Y'all ain't gonna be here for like four years, my nigga. Like, yo, get your, get your money, get your money, and get out the game. Yeah, facts, That's facts. It. And if she's, like I said, I don't know, because I've seen, I've seen people arguing. I, I guess the most uh, people I've seen who had comments about this shit had like negative things to say about the pay, and mm. you know, the WNBA should be paying more. Like, oh, should shouldn't they be paying more? And then comparing it to mm. the men. Then it's always going to come back to that, where it's like, yo, even the women like I know that are like basketball heads, they watch the NBA, not the WNBA. <laughs> they watch the NBA. Like, oh, they play 2K <laughs> with the guys. Like, I, I don't even know. No, if added, the, is there a added, WNBA 2K, 2K? When you buy 2K now, I think it's like a subset where you got yeah, like, they go have to like the bottom WNBA of the screen. Teams oh, okay, cool. I'm about to say, because there's I also no, don't play, I haven't played 2K in years. So no, it's like a WNBA 2K. Of the game. Like, oh, okay. I don't WNBA games. Yeah, because you, you don't have the fucking Sparks playing the Lakers. That's yeah, crazy. Because yeah. there's a like, considerable amount. I would say, like, there's a, there's a growing population of, like, gamers, right? Let's take it to the game industry mm. real quick. There's a growing population of gamers, <laughs> a bigger population of <laughs> women gamers playing. Oh, when they play, they're playing. Like two K, they, they playing are. with the guys. Mm. Like I don't, yeah. I don't think I've ever really. I I just found out today. Like oh, there's a subset on two K where you can like yeah, they do the see, WNBA. But it's, not, it's not helping. Well, think about it this way, right? You playing, you <laughs> playing a basketball game. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you playing a basketball game. Cool. The person, me and you playing, right? My team misses a shot. You get the rebound. You throw the ball up the court for a fast break. Niggas lay it up. <laughs> Every time they lay <laughs> with the finger, <laughs> they lay that shit up. Every time they don't slap the backboard. Is that a rule? Up. Is that like is that a rule no. that they can't? Nah. It's just like oh, they just don't. I feel like <laughs> most. You know they call Tim Duncan the big fundamental. Yeah. Now imagine how boring Tim Duncan would have been at six <laughs> two. At six two and a nigga playing good old fashioned b ball like. <laughs> I don't want to see no, some good old fashioned b ball. You gotta Niggas call it that. Niggas is not trying to yeah. play the game. I'm not trying to do the, all the combinations that yeah. you do with the controller just me? for a nigga to. Imagine yeah. you playing online. Yeah, I get that. And I just laid it up on you, and then I pause the game, and I just keep rewinding the layup. <laughs> Yeah, man. Imagine the replay come on like, I oh, he's it. off on the fast break. <laughs> the excitement is just like, ah. But yeah. Switch it know. up in the air. <laughs> something like, <laughs> rock the cradle. Like, something. You feel me? Yeah, sorry, WNBA. <laughs> mad regular chest pass, mad regular bounce pass. <laughs> I can find they can shoot threes, but like, now everybody shoot threes. Like, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man. 
You so, know, I, I don't know. Congratulations to her. Shout you know, out to all the other ladies that got drafted. Um, that's a fact. This this year, this it's season, it's gonna be an interesting season for the WNBA. Yeah, you know, I'm not even being funny when I say that. Nah, it should. It. I feel like it's no, gonna it's have gonna more gonna like eyes on it now. Yeah, no. This is gonna be a record breaking year for y'all. Y'all got shit talking. That's what y'all needed. Y'all needed some shit talking yeah, players. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed shit talking players that like back it up on the court. Like we ain't want to hear y'all talking shit. Like, yeah. Kaylin yeah. Carr's really gonna smoke somebody. Andrew yeah. Reese is really gonna smoke somebody yeah, in Chicago. Yeah. And then y'all put her in Chicago. It's like, yeah. oh my god. I that see she got paired with like a, either a former teammate or something. <laughs> they both got drafted to the same place. Nah, she got paired with some girl from this other team. But uh, Shorty from the other team, like, I ain't go front the last couple years and like. The in, like women's college sports. Mm -hmm. Oh no, nah, these girls is mad competitive. So it's like mad spice. It's like oh, mm -hmm. so and so is about to mm -hmm. play so and so. Nah, I've seen, I've seen like clips of people pushing, fighting. This yeah, shit. now it's like beat. oh, we got both of them on the same team. I don't know how this. I don't know how the draft works over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if niggas traded picks, but it's like oh yeah, you got both of them in the first round within like the first seven picks. Oh, you basically kind of just revamped your team a little nah, bit. Nah, oh, od, od. All right, so it should be exciting. It should be this exciting year, now. This year, so, WNBA, facts. come on, it's your moment. I, and you know what's this crazy, though? Moment. I still feel like it's going to be, even if it does increase in viewership, it's going to be guys that are no, going to yeah, be definitely. watching it more nah, facts. than definitely. women. And, we'll I, and I think I did see a dunk this year. Nah, it's a couple Not of them dunking. Like, you know, yeah. Brittany Ryan is out there dunking. Like, a good dunk. She too. just got married. She having a baby smash it going on. Stop mm. laughing. Thank you. Yeah, that's what's up. No, it was a good dunk. It was. It was. Yeah, I I think statistically there's more <laughs> men. Mm -hmm. That was unpro <laughs> that was unprovoked. <laughs> Don't even look at him. I think statistically, yeah, I, no, I no, think statistically, no. more men watch sports than women. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, more men are gonna watch WNBA than women based on like just that kind of ratio. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, you know, we can knock the the ten million dollar loss to like you know seven, then. You know that'll that's improvement. Yeah, hopefully, if, if y'all can knock that shit down to seven in this upcoming season, then I feel like the next season it'll get down to four. But that's all gonna depend on how this draft class yeah. plays. That's out here right yeah. now. Um, yeah, I they would have to agree. Leaders, yeah. They got they good momentum though. I think going into yeah. this new draft class and this, the college, the rest mm -hmm. of this year is like, oh, okay. There's a momentum here. People right. are paying attention that I guess wouldn't normally yeah, be not, considered. To to your point. If y'all don't make it this year, it's your fault. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah. I mean, right, I guess. <laughs> How much more publicity do you need? Motherfucker, Nike just gave what, eight million? We we oh, just okay. had the WNBA and NBA All Star Weekend. We had uh mm -hmm. who's that? Sue Bird versus Steph Curry in a three point contest. Right, right. This is your uh, <laughs> you feel me? We had Kobe Bryant supporting y'all. I seen NBA players wearing the WNBA like logo hoodie and shit. Yeah. Nah, I mean do it. Do it. All the ingredients are there. It's just like, yep, you know, yep. it's up to it ultimately it's up to the people if that's what the people want to see. And right now it looks like people are interested in seeing Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese play play ball. So facts. Yeah, that's shout out good. to the college sports. Like really like Yeah, shout out to y'all. Uh yeah. pay these girls some more money so they can start flying niggas out. <laughs> word, word, word. We want right, to be right, baddies. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Tears. Yeah. <laughs> nice gonna go to fly you out. Nah, I'm just it'd be nice to be treated, right? Like, come on. <laughs> you feel me? First class it. You know, nah, I mean, I say it again that first much, class. Get you a nice commercial. Oh, like, commercial? You ain't gotta fly spirit. You gonna get there. You ain't gotta fly spirit, but cool. you damn sure ain't flying Delta. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Get a little, get so a now little. my little WNBA John got me a nice <laughs> economic seat. You got a little jet blue. <laughs> this is a economy seat. Toyota with jet blue. For you when you pull up. Yeah. Little nice frontier. Little yeah, 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 yeah. Caribbean Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd be nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm stopping. Yeah. We, we leaving. Yeah. But, um, you sure? This your moment right here. <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds on the clock. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna stop it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't give it. I didn't even know what you was like. What was going on? And we end it how we started. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the cameras off. Cut the fucking cameras off. That was your moment. Right? That was your I'm moment. Say full circle moment right there. Everything's a big circle. Like, you know, every right? we gave you a chance, man. And that was to win the hearts back. Ain't next time, people. I. Ain't even got nothing to say for himself. Yeah, not not uh, gonna promise it, but yeah. See you at episode two eleven, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.